will remain in the 30s for the remainder of the year. Local fire departments want to make sure you're being safe when trying to stay warm. Nine on your side's Brandon Truitt joins us now with tips on keeping warm while staying safe. Brandon. Angie, good evening. Just in the last week, there have been several fires throughout our area, some burning people's belongings, others claiming the lives of some pets. And no matter what these fires claim, those who fight them say prevention matters most. People um, are using their space heaters more during the winter months. Fires can happen at any time, but when the temperatures drop, firefighters find the number of calls start to pick up. Space heaters are one of the most common ways to heat a home easily found and often cheaper than running your home's full system, they've grown in popularity. Studies show that one in every six fires are started by heating systems. Greenville Fire Rescue says, although popular, space heaters are not the leading cause of house fires. Most start during cooking, no matter the season. We still see a lot of problems with um, people having unattended cooking, so we want to remind them that whenever they're cooking or using a space heater that they um, stay in the home. And no need to get creative trying to stay warm. Better says leave the stove or oven to cooking. You want to use the, the house uh, heating equipment for that purpose. And if you plan to use a space heater, uh, Better provides uh, tips to help keep you safe. Make sure you follow the manufacturing guidelines and keep the heater at least three feet away from anything combustible. Plug the heater directly into the wall and not an extension cord. And GFR also recommends a monthly checkup on your smoke alarms. If you don't have one, GFR can get you one and install it for free of charge to those living in the city limits. Visit WNCT.com to see how to get one of those as well as several other tips that could ultimately save your life. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.